When working with mixed numbers, we really want to change them into improper fractions. And the main reason is because of this implied plus that's in there. And when we mix multiplication with addition, we have to be very careful. So when we do this, we want to convert this into 6 times, convert this into an improper fraction. So we're going to have 4 fourths plus 3 fourths is 7 fourths. When we multiply, we have to remember that times is on top. So this is a 6 times. So we're going to end up with 6 times 7 on top. And we have just the divide by 4 on bottom. We do not put the times by 6 on the bottom. Okay, That times 6 is only on the top. So remember, that as a general rule, okay, this is a good model to use. Any multiplication just stays on the top only. If it's division, it stays on the bottom. So we end up with 42 over 4. We can simplify this fraction into 21 over 2 by dividing out the common factors of 2. So again, we want to get rid of these pluses in here. So that implied plus, we want to eliminate before we multiply. And then we can just keep it as times and divide. And fractions are nice when they, we just have times and divide math. So converting this into an improper fraction, we get 7 becomes 28 over 4. So 28 plus 3 is 31 over 4 times 1 over 4. The nice thing about this is top times top. We just keep all the multiplication on the top. Bottom times bottom, we keep all the divisions on the bottom. So we don't ever mix up times with divide. There are no shared common factors, so we just leave it as, as 31 over 16. For C, we're going to convert 2 and 1 6 into 13 over 6 times 7 over 7 and 1 half becomes 15 over 2. If you want, but since we have times and divide here, that share common factor is times 15, divide 6, share common factor of 3. We can simplify that out. So I'm going to do that by, re by factoring the 15 into 5 times 3. And since it's all, we just, fractions are times on top, divide on bottom, we just need to think of this as one fraction, keep all the times in the numerator, all the divide in the denominator. So we're going to change that 6 into 3 times 2. We have 2 here, so this times 3, divide 3 cancels out. Three, 13 times 5 is 65. And in the denominator, we have 4. Okay, so we can, again, keep track of our solutions when we do this. So here we're going to convert this into 13 over 6 times 14 over 13. Now 13 in the numerator is times, 13 in the denominator is divide. Those will undo each other. So we end up with 14 over 6. We could have share, canceled out the factors here but since we are at this point, we can divide out the common factor of 2. So we get 7 over 3 as our solution. So there we go.